Hello Python programmers. Uh, in this video I want to start looking at the more cool stuff uh, with programming and two of the really important things that you need to understand when using Python is how to use a for loop and how to use a while loop. Now it would be incredibly frustrating if I had to um, say add one to a value all the time I got older. Okay so say my age was equal to zero. I can then do age uh, or print age Okay, and now I want to do age is equal to one more. Quick shortcut for that is plus uh, plus equals one. Uh, print the age again. Now it's one. Age plus equals one. Print age. It would just take forever to get up to my age. Um, so what can I do? Well, I can write a quick loop. So I'm going to write it in this uh, in this file here, and I'm going to run it, and you'll see how it works. So the first one I want to look at is a for loop. Now, I want to use the keyword here for, and I'm going to use the word I'm going to use um, my age, and for age is going to be in a range of zero to the stop value. So I'm going to go up to 30. So in my loop, it starts off, age is going to be equal to zero, and it's going to go up to 30. Well, it's going to go 30 times. Uh, and I'm going to go print my age, and I'm going to not do anything else. That's my code. So if I run this, you'll see that it counts up to 29, it doesn't go up to 30, it stops at 30, so it won't go into that one. So it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way up to 29. If I wanted it to go up further, say I want, because I am now 30, I make sure I change it to 31. Just a little quirk, and I wanted you to see that. Run it again, it now goes up to 30. So that's a for loop. I can start, have a start value have a finishing value. Remember, for loop, it will finish the one before you, you, you set it to. So if you're doing what I want to do, I have to go up to 31. And I get it to do a, a particular thing. I can also add another line here. So let's say I want it to get, count up in fives. So I'm going to add another little line here. So this says, start at zero, go up to 31, but go up in fives. If I run this, you notice this time it goes 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So that's a for loop. Let's take a look at a while loop. Okay, so let's do max age is equal to 30. While age is less than max age, let's add age here, age is equal to zero. While age is less than max age, do the following things. Print age and then I have to add one to age. So I'm going to do age plus equals one. So let's have a look at this one. I'm going to comment this out. Oops, do we need to delete it? Let's highlight that. Uh, and edit, and I want to comment out the region. That's that one. Okay, all right, so they're commented out. I'm going to run this now. So. You can see it does the same thing, still have that little problem, so let's use the correct comparison operator, greater than or equal to, well, actually let's do max age plus one, f5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way up to 30, took a lot more lines to do exactly the same thing as a for loop. Both are good, but they both have different reasons for using them. Uh, and we'll explore that later on when we start looking at programs. Um, but I just wanted to show you the two different methods. So you've got a for loop, and you've got your other loop. This age group, if you remember this one, I got it to step up in five. The way to do that in a while loop is obviously um, Instead of age plus one, I have to do something like age plus five. So let's run that just to see. There you go. Okay. 
Uh, so those are the two loops. Have a little practice, see what you come up with. Have fun.